Technology Tuesday, sponsored by Blue Layer Innovative Technology Solutions. TxDOT released a draft of a five-year plan this week to create electric vehicle charging stations 50 miles apart on all interstate highways and every 70 miles apart in most other areas. Yeah, more people are taking a second look at electric cars because of the gas prices, but our Rich Demiro found out the decision to switch to an EV involves more than just math. With gas prices at record highs, there's pain at the pump. Historically, whenever we've had a spike in gas prices, people have looked uh, at more fuel-efficient vehicles. That means you might be eyeing an EV. I don't think it's just the gas prices, of course, that's fostering it. But as EVs become more mature, longer ranges, less inconveniences of the past, um, these are all reasons that people are starting to see a blurred line between internal combustion engines and EVs and look in the product for what it is. Tesla is king, but there are many brands now vying for your attention. Polestar is a full electric brand, owned 50% by Volvo as our strategic partner. There's no doubt you'll save on gas. You're looking at, you know, at least two to three thousand dollars a year difference in operating costs. So it, it does add up very quickly. But there's a catch. You'll probably pay more for the EV itself, which is where incentives kick in. Only Tesla and GM aren't eligible for the biggest credits. For a lot of consumers now, you know, it is still cheaper to buy an internal combustion vehicle, but it's not going to stay that way forever. Other hurdles include charging and range anxiety. Tesla has fast chargers everywhere, while Electrify America, EVgo, and ChargePoint continue to build out their networks of charging stations. Plus, there are still many places where you can juice up for free. So what about the environmental impact? As long as you're not using coal to generate the electricity, any other source, whether it's natural gas, solar, wind, it all works out to a, po a net positive for EVs. Even the batteries can mostly be recycled or repurposed. The big scale of it um, coming back and being recycled, of course, it's a infrastructure logistic question that has to be solved, but where I'm not worried about that, we will solve that. Finally convinced an EV is right for you? Supply chain issues might be your biggest obstacle. If you have a car that's working well for you now um, and you don't need to get a new vehicle, right now is probably not the best time uh, to, to, to make a change. The challenge and the task that society, the industry is facing in the next decade is here to make that planet Earth uh, livable and maintain it as a livable place. <laughs> Horse and buggy right there, too. Rich Jamiro uh -huh. reporting. Uh -huh. I was still telling Brian during the story, though, I see uh, so many more of them on the mm -hmm. roads out here in Lubbock, mm -hmm. especially lately. Horses? Uh, yeah, horses, buggies. <laughs> yep. How'd you know? Yeah, I didn't know. Electric cars, right? Well, I'm starting my own <laughs> brand. It's called Resla. Resla. Mm -hmm. Make it sued. What, what does that even mean? Ron <laughs> You asked me a straight-up question, I gave you a straight-up answer. I don't know. And temperatures today did reach a high of 96.